So you probably haven't heard about this yet, but there's this thing online called a non-fungible token, an NFT. I know it's 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 very um, it's new. You haven't heard of this before. There's not a million YouTube videos on this. <laughs> all, right, all right, I'll stop. Yeah, it's uh, something everybody's talking about right now. NFT, NFT, NFT. It's all over the place. You know, there's a uh, NFT that sold for like 60 million. There's all these NFTs that are selling for all this money. And I wanted to put my thoughts on it. It's so wild to me that the hype is at these levels with the NFTs. But I wanted to say, you know, there is a place for them. There is a place for them. And I think that there will be a lot of value in the NFT world. It's just not where we are looking on the surface right now. Um, do I believe in these digital pieces of art and having like a digital museum that you can enter to view these digital art pieces? I mean, to an extent it's possible, you know, in a volume way you have these, like an art museum, you charge people to go into the art museum in a digital realm with a VR headset and all of that. I can see there being a slight possibility, but not to the tune of the millions and millions of dollars that we're seeing these artwork pieces go for. However, I do think there is a major, major um, use case for NFTs, and I wanted to go over that. Coming from the collectibles world, I believe in tangible collectibles. I believe in precious metals. Uh, I like watches. I like gemstones. I like all kinds of collectibles. The brilliance that an NFT-based, uh, a non-fungible token on a blockchain can do for you is that you can prove that you own an item. Not just in the digital realm, but if you can use this digital NFT, which might be, you know, a picture of the item that is the real item, but you have the NFT for it. So you prove, I own, say, this Rolex, you know, do you really own the Rolex? Now, where would this be valuable to anyone online? Anyone online to prove what's the thing that we that people do online is they put, you know, their business card in the photo. And they go, look, I, here's my business card. Obviously, I own the item, you know, but do you really? Because I know there's some people that will go to someone's store. This has actually happened to me where it's like, hey, can you take a picture with my name on it? It's just so you can prove that like, you can drop ship it for me. There is flaws in that system there. And I know it from a firsthand basis from being in the collectibles industry. You know, that is what we always look for. And I'm sure a lot of people that are in the social media and that send pictures back and forth. You always put the business card in the photo or you always write your name on a paper to prove that you are actually owning that item. So you kind of, in a way, by doing that, by having your, say, this Rolex and putting it on, in a, on a, you know, in its case and then putting, you know, Mineral Exchange there on a card and showing, look, Mineral Exchange owns this Rolex. You kind of are, in a way, creating an NFT. You're like, here's the digital version of this. You took a picture of it. Here's the digital version to prove that I own this, Right. What if you are able to show that you legitimately own it by showing the NFT? Here is the piece on the blockchain to prove that I am the legitimate owner of this item. Now, that is a brilliant use case for these NFTs. And I think that would be very beneficial for, say, like an insurance provider, you know, to prove that you legitimately own that item so you could get insured a lot quicker. You know, it would be much easier for an insurance company to, you know, provide coverage if you go, look, I have the NFT. I haven't sold it. I am the owner under the NFT on the blockchain. I own this physical item. That is brilliant to me. And then when you're looking to trade something online to prove that you have the NFT, now everybody knows that you're not, you know, some scammer or something because here, look, I have the NFT for this item, especially on a high price good. And so if you've built up your reputation, you have the NFT, you can then, you know, in a way, it, it's, it's just a, a, a way to prove that you own that item. So do I believe in like, excuse me, saying I have the Mona Lisa of the digital realm and I am, excuse me, the only person that owns this Mona Lisa in the digital realm. I, I don't really believe buy that as going up in value because yes, you own the NFT, but anybody can get a screenshot or a photo of it. Like say the thing that sold for 60 million or whatever, there's pictures of it all over online. Everybody can enjoy that artwork. It's not like you get to hide it on your wall and, and, and be able to see it appreciate in value because you legitimately, I mean, you own it in the digital realm, but it's like, it's so, it's so hard for me to believe that that is going to maintain the value to be worth that 
in the future. It's very hard for me to believe that. However, I can see a major use case for these NFTs um, in the trading realm, specifically, especially for companies too. You know, for a company to be like, look, you know, here's the, you get the NFT with the item as well, and it has been certified. More importantly, if you're from the sports card arena or from these Pokemon cards or you're from rare coins, they grade these sports cards. They grade comic books and they put them in these plastic slabs and they slap a grade on them. You know, there has been, and there's quite a few fake slabs out there, which is basically fake plastic to have a fake piece of, uh, of art, you know, or a fake Babe Ruth that's in the plastic and it'll be like in one of those PSA plastics and it'll show that it's a graded card or whatever. And it's actually not, it's a fake card within that plastic and an NFT would literally solve that. So all the authentication companies, all the companies like behind this Mike Tyson signature behind me, there's like a little signature card or that says, you know, this is a legitimate signature. If you could attach an NFT to that as well for the certifier. So not only to prove that you own the item, but also to have the certifier be the one that attaches the NFT or something in that way. And I'd imagine that these like the PSA and the forget all the names for the Pokemon card uh, grading companies and like the. Uh, trading card trading uh grading companies they they would really benefit from an nft you know because they could say yes this has been through and here's the nft for it and there you go and then when somebody else owns that item now they have have the nft that is on the blockchain and connected to that authentication company so for the insurance end of it, for the trading end of it, for the authentication end of it, all of these different things could be extremely valuable. I mean, you might see a platform, you might see eBay making you prove that you have the NFT. You know, you might see some stuff like that in the future, or it would just be a very big benefit to prove to some, to eBay or whatever that you, you have the NFT for this item. Um, that's where if I had to like think about in my mind where I would see the value in the NFT, it would be to back the tangible in the digital realm. So you still need the tangible. You still need the item that you can hold. But just like you take a photo, that's the first thing that came to my mind is from the collectibles business. You know that when you take a photo of it, it's, it makes sense. Like in, in, in the watch world, they call it like a fork picture. So you take a, you put your Rolex out there and you put a fork in your hand and it's, it's like one of the underground things is you, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are laughing that are in the watch uh, crowd. It's like, show, send the fork picture and you got to show that you own the Rolex by putting a fork in the picture. But uh, that kind of thing already happens. So I would imagine that that carries over into the NFT realm. Um, I had to comment about it. I was just joking at the beginning of this video. Everybody's talking about these NFTs. What's the right one to buy? Are they going up in value? How is all this money being generated in these NFTs? Should I be making my own NFTs? This, this, and that. I think that it's a fad. Um, maybe a select few pieces of really well done art, um, can, can last through it. I just don't know if they're going to go up in value. Would I have parked $60 million, even if I was a billionaire or something into that NFT? No. I would never do that. Was it Vitalik that bought it? I don't know. I'm sure that the person who bought it's already been named or something, but it's like, ah, who had 60 million in Ethereum to spend on this? Like, I can name a lot of things to do with that, but no, no disrespect, no disrespect to the artist. But I mean, I don't think even he was expecting that. Um, I don't see that being, I see it kind of being a fad and, and maybe some of it survives. Maybe that somebody puts together a museum and you can charge for people to go in with a VR headset and whatever uh, to do that. And there's some, some money to be made there. But I think the real value is in the authentication. I think that's the true value of the NFT is to, and I think it was like Logan Paul that already did that. Like you get an NFT with the Pokemon card of his or something like that, which I think is brilliant. That I really can get behind. That makes a lot of sense to me. So I hope I didn't uh, ramble too much. I hope that there was some useful information here. If you did find the information useful, would really appreciate it if you smash that like button. I even got that, uh, that fancy pillow here. Please smash that like button. It really helps the channel. And if you would like to be subscribed, it's very easy and it's free to do it. Just click that red subscribe down below the bell and all notifications, and you'll be notified of all future videos on this channel. We do a lot of live streams where we kind of get together as a community and talk in these live streams. So I would love to have you there. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram at Rob Soltan on Instagram, and I'm also on Twitter as well. Have a great rest of your day. Signing out.